stiff neck and shoulders, then you want to scratch that itch, right? Scratch that itch. So let's say, you know, when your neck, in the back of your neck, you're like, hey, man, that's itchy, right? You want to scratch like that, okay? Right? But then when you raise your arm, what do you notice? Man, smell the armpits. I'm going to cut my armpits. Prevent me from smelling my armpits, right? So scratch the itch. Step one, scratch the itch. Step two, cut that armpit, right? Okay? But you got the other armpit. So this arm's going to go scratch the itch. You want to cup that smelly armpit, right? So scratch the itch, cup the armpit. Scratch the itch, cup the armpit. You're going to do this for about 30 times, right? You can do it three sets of these, right? So scratch that itch and then cup that stanky armpit, right? Do this every single day and you'll notice your neck gets looser, your shoulders get looser, right? Make sure you follow me here for more of these awesome biohacking tips. And I came in for neck and shoulder pain, specifically on the, the left side. And um, I've done chiropractic and um, massage, and I think that helps, but it didn't totally take away the pain. And I've been pretty successful with acupuncture. Um, I haven't really had to take any pain medication for a while for it, so it's um, a lot better. Well, in Chinese medicine, herbs are food. But many of the many of the herbs that we use. Um, as medicine is food, and so that's why I call it still. I still call it Foodie Friday. Um, and so today's herb is an herb called in Chinese it's called Zhang Huang, uh, but in English it's called turmeric. Most people know this herb, or have heard of it before, right? We all know that it's anti-inflammatory, but what other real you know effects does turmeric have on the body? Well, the turmeric actually has an anti-cholesterol. It can lower your bad cholesterol. And of course, everybody knows it's anti-inflammatory. Um, this is probably what most people don't know. It's anti-platelet. So if you have a high platelet count, it can actually help decrease that platelet. It can also uh, help increase the uterine contraction um, without causing an abortion. Um, it can also increase the production and excretion of bile. So why would we need to, you know, produce bile? Bile is the is is what breaks down fat. So if you eat like a, if you go to KFC and get some fried chicken, then you want to get some turmeric afterwards so it can help excrete that bile to break out all that to break down all that nasty fat that you just ate in the fried chicken, right? But in Chinese medicine, when do we prescribe it? I mean, we prescribe it for all these, these problems, but the number one thing we, pre we prescribe turmeric for is this right here, neck and shoulder pain. Neck and shoulder pain, turmeric is specifically targets the neck and the shoulders, all right? Or the upper back. That's what it's specifically used for. So for those of y'all who are using it for lower back pain or lower body pain, it might might not be as effective as upper body. And it's good for arms, but it's really, you know, shoulders, neck and shoulders and, and upper arms. It's the best use, uh, but you need to do, you know, you need to do it on a daily basis. You gotta do a lot of it, okay? But again, in Chinese medicine, we don't prescribe just one single herb at a time. Um, it's not effective that way. We prescribe many herbs together so synergistically they boost everybody's effect so instead of giving just this amount of effect you're getting this amount of effect so that's the beauty of chinese medicine um, and if you haven't tried turmeric you haven't tried herbs uh, chinese herbs then definitely find an herbalist and have someone customize for you um, you can go out and buy turmeric yourself um, but the quality that you're getting, you have no idea if you're getting, what, what kind of quality you're getting. So most acupuncture clinics carry high quality turmeric uh, for you so that you can get an accurate assessment as to how well it's working for you. All right, guys. So foodie of the day, food of the day, turmeric, all these functions, some more specifically neck and shoulder pain. All right. So if you're having neck and shoulder pain, give turmeric a try. Acupuncture, of course, is always super effective for it, and especially in our clinic at QR, uh, using our QRE acupuncture is super effective, but you can try turmeric and actually you can use turmeric to cook too. So again, this is food. That's why I call it Foodie Friday. All right, guys.